Big story, that stolen Stradivarius violin has finally been found. It is worth more than $5 million. Police guarded that violin at a news conference held at police headquarters this afternoon. There are two of the stolen violin suspects, Universal Allah and Salah Jones. Police also arrested Jones' girlfriend, but she is not expected to be charged. Police raided a home on the south side last night, and that's when they discovered the instrument. It was stuffed in a suitcase in the attic. Chief Flynn says it was stashed there by one of the suspects, Salah Jones. There was a friend of his who uh, owns the residence. Uh, it is also our understanding that the owner of that residence was unaware of the contents of the suitcase. And the suspects are expected to be charged tomorrow. Now, we have team coverage on this shocking discovery. We begin with the I-team's Jermont Terry. Jermont. Yeah, Carol, I can tell you that the I-team sources first broke this news on Live at Daybreak this morning. This story plays out like a movie. The shock of a stolen violin, the climatic arrest of those behind the heist, and now the remarkable recovery of something so precious. For nine days, Milwaukee police, the FBI, and the community wondered who stole the Stradivarius violin. Police say Universal Allah and Salah Jones are behind this theft. There are good days and there are bad days. Uh, today is a good day. It's all smiles now. The I-team sources revealed the historic violin was located due to the fact Jones finally gave up the location. We uh, got the information about the residence from the suspect. Milwaukee police moved in quietly here on Smith Street Wednesday night. This is where Jones led detectives and investigators to recover that violin. Apparently, he stored it in someone's attic, and the homeowner didn't even realize he had that precious item in his home. We need information from the suspect, and the only way we're going to obtain that information is to discuss the range of possibilities. Sources say that possibility included not charging the woman arrested. Essentially, Jones traded the violin's location for his girlfriend's freedom. We pressed the DA for more about this deal. Did that negotiation include a, a plea of some deal that would result in a lesser charge for this individual by giving up the information for the location of the violin? This isn't the appropriate time to, to discuss negotiations. Jones was convicted of stealing artwork before. Now he and Allah will face the music for this latest heist. Now, police were able to make the arrest after tracking down who purchased the stun gun used in the robbery. They say that led them right to Allah, which set the tone of their investigation. Back to you, Mike. Yeah, thank goodness this thing is back safe and sound, Jermont. Appreciate it.